What's up, poker players? Hope you guys are out there killing it on the tables. We had a 4 hour and 43 minute session, only 1,333 hands, low volume, only playing a few hands, concentrating on the bigger cash games, but we only won less than $11 over that time frame. Not a very good win rate, not a good hourly rate, but we had big swings. We we're up in the beginning, down at the end. Let's take a look at some of the hands. First hand we're looking at is ace three of hearts playing from the small blind at the 100 NL table. Folds to under the gun plus two, who opens for three X. Fuck variant, nice name, makes a call of the open. Both players are pretty recreational. Only 37 on acronym with the AK. Again, two two good uh, screen names in this hand. I like them. And only 62 hands on fuck variants. I make the call being out of position, but against two recreational players. And we wind up flopping a nut flush draw. 10 high, very draw heavy. We check, acronym puts in a continuation bet. Pretty small, fuck variants gets out out of the way and i'm going to try to pick up this pot right here but if we do get called we always have the nut flush draw as well as the over card and also backdoor straight draws acronym makes a call the eight of spades does not help out our hand i just check since our opponent called our flop raise and the eight really isn't a scare card and not many hands are probably going to be folding with an eight on the turn that made a call of the flop raise and our opponent bets 15 dollars we're getting 3.53 to 1 odds making the call here and there's a good chance that we're going to be making more than that when we do hit our flush or an ace that improves us to the lead by the river so i do make the call with the implied odds and a king of spades comes on the river not a very good hand for us our opponent has a zero percent fold to river bet and very high bet percentages on the river and it showed down pretty well so far so i check and i'm pretty much just giving up on this hand our opponent bets twenty dollars and i just make the fold here what do you guys think about that turn call? Is that something you guys would have done? Do you think we had enough implied odds to be making that call? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now we're taking a look at pocket aces at the 200 NL. We are playing from the hijack seat. Under the gun opens to 2x. Under the gun plus one makes a call. Einstein 727, you guys remember him from the last video? Mr. Never Fold. So we're putting in a big bet here, make it 18 to see a flop. We get a call from under the gun and Einstein also comes along. There's already $57 in the pot and and look at that flop. That's really familiar from the last time we played Einstein. Both players check. I put in a small bet, $26. Einstein hates to fold the cards. And I think we can probably get pretty much any pair to make a call here. But both players do fold and we take down this pot. I think Einstein might have learned his lesson from last time. And now we have Ace King suited playing from the cutoff at the 200 again. Full drawn us and we open to $6, 3x. We get three bet by the small blind. Pretty tight three bet percentage. Pretty good numbers, but might be recreational. We only have 222 hands on this player. I put in a four bet, make it $40 to go, and our opponent makes a call. Flop is two kings and a four. With this player's three bet percentage of 3.2, I think there's going to be a lot of pairs, most likely larger than tens, some ace kings, Kings and possibly ace queens and I think we can cash in on a lot of those pairs with this board so our opponent checks I put in a continuation bet of $30 and our opponent does make a fold the only hand that I could really see folding right here would be an ace queen I'm not completely upset with the way we play this hand we definitely could have checked back and tried to induce some bluffs but our opponent does have very low bet percentages very low aggression frequency and doesn't fold that often to flop bets and what other hands would they really be calling a four bet with this hand confused me a little bit let me know what you guys think about this one as well down in the comment section below either way we take down this pot of 82 bucks with the trip kings and we have aces once again at the 200 nl we are playing a little shorthanded right here five players in this hand and we open a 3x we get called by the button who is recreational very high vpip of 72 percent this player has not folded very many hands at all over the 26 that we have and we see a heads up flop 
Flop is seven high, two tone, two diamonds out there. I lead out for two thirds pot to an opponent who has very low full percentages and our opponent does make a call. Turn is the nine of diamonds. I like to just check right here. There's obviously fives, a lot of straight draws, a lot of flush draws that got there within this player's range and our opponent puts in a bet of $24. And against this type of player, I'm not gonna be folding aces that often. And I do make the call. The river is the eight of spades. Even more of the draws got there now. And with that high VPIP again, you really can't put many hands out of this player's range. There's going to be sixes in there. There's gonna be 10 jacks. There's gonna be flushes. There's really nothing you can put out of this player's range. So I am just gonna be checking and calling down. But our opponent does check, doesn't put in a river bluff and we take down this pot of $79. And we have pocket queens at the 100 NL. Hijack seat opens for 2.1x. The hijack is a very regular player, regular short stacker, plays a solid game though. And against a short stacker, I'm gonna be playing queens like the nuts. So I put in a three bet preflop and our opponent jams the rest of their stack in. Pretty standard from short stackers. I get it in and it is kings against queens, a classic cooler and our opponent takes us on this one. But queens is gonna be ahead of most of this player's four bet jamming range with the short stack and now we have kings at the 100 nl table we are playing from the big blind under the gun opens to 2.5x fuck variants puts in a three bets to nine dollars and the button who is a recreational player only 13 hands on this player short stacker 4350 is the four bet jam and it goes comes to us we have the option to either rejam here or to just call i think just calling is probably going to be the best play especially against fuck variants who put in a three bet already and is recreational. We could probably get this player to come along with lower pairs, maybe tens or jacks would come along. Maybe we can get an ace queen in there. So I just make the call and fuck variance does get out of the way and we're up against ace king. We are a 70% favorite going into the flop and seven high flop is great for us. We just have to avoid an ace, which is what we do. And we take down $96 with pocket kings. And now we have pocket tens shorthanded at the 200 NL table playing from the button. Zeke 30, pretty fishy player. We saw him a couple hands ago. Opens to $4, 2X. The player to his left makes a call. And I put in a three bet here, make it 16 to go. To a player with a very high VPIP, we are gonna be dominating most of this player's range. Zeke makes a call and Shocker Ask makes the call as well. Flop is eight high, rainbow, very dry board. Check, check to us. And we put in a continuation bet of only $22 trying to get these players to chase a couple over cards Z gets out of the way shocker ass makes a call the three comes on the turn now an ace looks a little bit better and I put in a continuation bet of $30 this time and shocker ass gets out of the way and we take down $95 with the pocket tens and we have pocket aces playing from the cutoff at the 200 NL this time under the gun opens the 3x and we get a three bet from Pimpika very aggressive regular player short stacker so I elect to just call here maybe we can get a raise from BJV who is opening from under the gun usually a very strong hand when opening from under the gun not to mention Pimpika has a pretty high fold percentage when four bet two BJV makes a call and we see a flop there is $51 in the pot and the flop is absolutely perfect for our pocket aces 3-3-4 three, three, flop. There's going to be some pairs in both of these players' ranges, and I don't think we're going to see many pairs fold to a board like that. Pipika comes out for $22. I just make a call here, and BJV makes a call as well. The turn is the 10 of hearts. There's now $117 in the pot. Both players check, and we put in a continuation bet of $38, and both players fold. I'm not really sure what these players are doing. Both betting and calling on the flop that they would not call a $38 bet with on the turn. That 10 really isn't too scary. I guess we got rid of pairs less than 10s with that bet. I thought that this bet sizing would allow pairs to continue along in this hand, but apparently not. Maybe we should have bet smaller. What do you guys think about this hand? And the last hand we're taking a look at, we have pocket nines playing from the cutoff at the 200 NL table. We get a 4X open from under the gun plus one, who is a recreational player. Player, very very aggressive 
20 is the aggression factor. Very high bet numbers, very high three bet numbers, and pocket nines are a great hand to be playing against this player with such large opening numbers. But the button three bets, it's a $22 bet. Under the gun plus one makes a call. It is only 14 for us to make this call, and I do make the call with the nines. Flop is eight high two tone. There is two diamonds out there. We have backdoor straight draws and the nines over the board. There's $69 in the pot already. Both these players have less than the pot in their stack. We are going to be calling down with the nines and Ransom jams it all in. I make the call with the nines and it is tens against nines. We need a nine on the turn or river or running cards for a straight. Four doesn't help. We need a nine. Can't get there and we lose a pot to a pretty fishy player who ran into a hand this time and we pretty much got cooler right there. Not too upset with the way that we played this one. Against numbers like this, we are going to be winning most of the time. This time we just ran into a pair that was a little bit larger than ours. Not much you can do about it. Head down to the video description for links to all the poker products that I use including America's Card Room where I do all of my poker playing and Hold a Manager which is what I use to improve my poker game off the table. Click that subscribe button if you guys have not done that yet. Make sure you click on that gear icon on the channel page as well to turn on your notifications. That way when a new video comes out or I am live streaming you guys you will be notified. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and looking forward to those comments down below as well. Back soon with a new video but until then I'll see you guys out on the virtual felt.